Hiya, I'm Dominique, sometimes pronounced Dominique, because it's French. And I'm going to teach you how to style a pixie like this. Really short in the back, short on the sides, well, relatively short, but it actually kind of grew up. And short layers, but really, really layery on the top short bangs. This is my I just got up hair, you know, all over the place. I have a cowlick here, here, and here. For all those girls with cowlicks out there with pixie cuts, it's painful, isn't it? Oh my god, the torture. But really, it's not hard to style this in the morning. Like, if you are ever thinking, should I get a pixie cut? And your friends are like, no, don't do it. Especially if you have a face shape like mine, so like, kind of square. Here. Um, the light in the background is messing it up, but it's round, but has like a squarish chin here. Like, look at look at the celebrities that have pixie cuts right now. They have this kind of face, and if you have like a round nose, I feel like it goes well with this, with the with the round round noses. French nose, very French. Um, just go for it. It's your hair, you know. Do what you want. It grows back, no problem. And if you're really that desperate, you could always wear a wig. I don't recommend that route. I don't recommend that route at all. But anyway, so this is my just getting up from a pixie cut. I've had a pixie cut since June of 2013, so it's almost been a year now. Uh, it's gone from varying lengths. Um, I first cut it here, and then I cut it to a pixie that had with long bangs, and then I uh, let it grow out, so it was long, almost like a very, very, very short bob. Uh, and this is the shortest I've ever cut it. Uh, I had dyed it blonde before I cut it like this, and so it's been growing out. You can see my roots a lot. But I actually really like the coloring. The natural, like the dirty blonde underneath and the platinum on the top. It kind of makes it look cool when it's all done. But like I'm saying, so this is what it looks like in the morning when I wake up. Typically, it's usually just kind of like just jumbled around. Some, some parts are sticking up, and no matter how much you try to put it down with a brush or your fingers, it just won't go down. Um, Pretty much how I deal with that is I have a small little spray bottle of water, like you can get for like a dollar, like a dollar store, or even like 50 cents at like Target. And I just keep water in there in the morning, I just spray those areas. Um, and if I'm in a rush, I use a blow dryer and I just, I blow dry it down, you know, I, I comb it down with my hands or a brush and I just push it down so that it stays down. Um, if your hair is a little longer than mine, you can actually use like a, a straightener too. That that always works. I personally don't like using a straightener, especially with my hair is already dyed blonde because it's just going to damage it. Of course, hair dryers also damage your hair, but if you use cold air, it does less damage. So there you go. It takes a little longer, but I'm sure you can handle it. Um, so that's what I do. And then of course the top here, right now I have no product in it, but I haven't washed my hair in like two days. Two days I think it's been, yeah, so um, so pretty much I just comb it, I comb it forward first, you know, kind of, I just use my nail. I have really long nails, they're my natural nails. I like having my nails long. <laughs> Self-defense, I'm just kidding, it's just more comfortable for me. Um, anyway, uh, and then typically I don't like to leave it, you can see it just makes the point, that just looks ridiculous. But I mean it's a style, if you like that, do it. I personally, what I do is I sweep it to the side here. So, starting from the crown and going down, I sweep it. Um, if I want some, like say if this was too flat, I would just get a, a very thin round brush and I would just blow dry it a little bit here so that it would get a little rounder. So, there you go. That's how you style a pixie cut in the morning. You flatten all the parts you want it to flatten. Great. Um, you push it to the side you want to. If you want to add texture, getting like a texturing paste, um, modeling wax, and just rubbing it in your hand and then in your fingertips and just putting it through and then pushing it down. That's always a good way to do it. I'm not going to put any of that on now because I don't have a lot left. <laughs> um, I could do, I'll do another video maybe like that with the texturing paste and then I'll show you how I faux hawk it because that's also an option too. Um, if there are days where you don't go taking a shower, like, if you don't wash your hair for a couple days, that's the best day to, like, faux hawk your hair because your hair is not so soft anymore, I guess you could say, and supple, so it'll, it'll like, take the products a lot better. Um, so, yeah, just, like, lifting it up, 
putting it up and then putting some hairspray so it stays that way. I also do like doing the swoosh, I call it. I think it's called pompadouring it. My hair's a little short right now, um, so it doesn't do it quite the same way as like a lot of the, like Jennifer Lawrence's hair. I got my hair before Jennifer Lawrence, just saying. Um, not that that matters or anything. I actually really love her, so I do not mind my hair looking so much like at all. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the basic how to do your hair in the morning. I apologize for this. It's a day off for me, you know, just chilling, wearing a warm, wearing sweatpants and comfy t-shirt. Waiting for Godot. If any of you know what that is, good for you. <laughs> Alright, well, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you have anything bad to say, don't. Okay? <laughs> well, have a nice day. Bye.